Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to the video. This is Dr. Heels here joining you today. Glad to be here. Glad to be able to hopefully teach you guys something about carpentry. And I know what you're thinking. Dr. Heels, why are you on a whale? Well, you wouldn't be paying attention to me if I wasn't on a whale. So I want you to pay attention because it's going to be a super serious carpentry lesson. Not really. It's just going to be a bunch of beginner carpentry tips and tricks. If you're new to uh, carpentry, I'm just starting out. So I figured it'd be a good time to share a few things. And without further ado, let's get into the tips. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here now in New Gradania and I have my carpenter set equipped. So now I'm gonna take a look at this. I'm only level 12. I just started like a couple hours ago. And uh, yeah, so you know, when you first start out, your uh, guild, uh, the guild master will give you your first tool. So we can go on over to him. It's uh, beaten and we are in New Gradania. I'll try it on the map here. Right here, I mean, you can't miss it. It's right across on the plaza. I mean, if you can't find this, like, I don't know. But anyway. So this guy will give you your first tool, and the tool is a saw. And so you equip that, you become the carpenter class. And most people probably know that, but I just wanted to explain that to some of the newer people. And then after doing a few of the first basic crafts, you get the uh, claw hammer, which is also which is your offhand, which um, helps with um. Basically, um, it gives you additional skills that you can use to craft better uh, items. So and the overlapping. Uh, base. I mean, no, that's not right. Yeah, I shouldn't be wearing a dry. But anyway, the over some of these skills uh, overlap. Like control, control overlaps with weaver. So now, if you see, if I equip my weaver class, you can see I also have uh, control. Control is a relevant stat, and so is uh, craftsmanship. So you can see that these stats. Um, overlap so if you level up one crafter you can use the same armor uh somewhat i mean there are some specific items but you can use the same armor to level up your next crafter which is really useful because then you can just equip the, the gear that you have already but anyway that's enough about that let's talk about um leveling up so the way I've been leveling up this crafter is by, um, I think this is a really good way to level when you're new, and that is to check out. So you check out the crafting log, and you see that there's like a bunch of like pre, so there's like the one to five recipes. And you can see I made like most of these things except for we a couple. And the reason I want to do this is because you want to, um, you get bonus experience for crafting something for the first time. So if I go ahead and I make this ragstone grinding wheel, which I already found the ingredients for, if I go ahead and do a synthesis or synthesize, and I just go ahead and make this, I'll just do the basic synthesis for now. So I'll just, and the basic synthesis just improves your progress. It's pretty basic, it's pretty self-explanatory. These improve your, touch, your uh, the touches improve your quality and I'm not really going for quality. And so you see I got, 3420 experience right there and that was the bonus for crafting it for the first time and so you get that bonus for all of these different things so that's a really great uh, way to level up when you're beginning so now what you might also notice is that in the crafting log here we go is that some of these require some like additional ingredients so you have your lumber and then you have your, uh, like uh, these are bronze rivets, so you have an additional material, or you have like bronze ingots, or spoiled femur, crow's feather, all these like different miscellaneous things. And so initially a mistake I made was that I figured I would just, okay, I need ash lumber. Well, I already leveled up my uh, botanist to level 53. So I figured, oh, I'll just look in the gathering log and I'll just go, oh, ash logs they're in a uh, green tier and so I went out there and I gathered some but that was a newbie mistake because you can just if you have some money and like it all you want to be and that's I think that's a good second tip is that you want to be as cost effective as possible like compared to how much money you have like I have 239,000 gil right now I just sold some things in the marketplace so I have a little bit of money to like put into the skill so 
what you can do is you can just go to your guild supplier and for carpentry you want to go you can go to your carpentry guild and you can go right here to this boy is what's his name Ferial. yeah you can talk to him and he has ash logs and he has like all these lower level like the miscellaneous stuff that you need for um all these lower level recipes so you can see right here like Soil femur, crow feather, like he sells these things. He sells soil femur. Um, he doesn't have the crow feather, but that's fine because in conjunction with this, you want to also go to the leather workers guild. And so I'm just going to sprint on over here, go on over to the Atherite. And we are going to use Atherite to the leather workers guild. And you want to use the leather workers guild um, supplier in conjunction with the carpentry supplier. So I'm just gonna run on over here. And I I didn't know you could do this, so like I made the mistake, like so you'll see right here with the uh I'll show you. Oh yeah the ragstone grinding wheel. I already bought this ragstone on the marketplace and I'll show you that as an example really quick. So I go on in here and I can talk to the uh Oskith while well, they're making this really easy for me. The guild supplier and <laughs> You can see he sells uh, the other stuff. Here. So he already sells maple lumber and ash lumber. So you don't even have to like make it on the lower levels, which is crazy in my opinion. But um, yeah, and then he has the bone chips and uh, a bunch of other ingredients that you'll need for crafting. So that's super, super useful to know. So what I suggest any new players do is to just buy as many of these materials as you can. Buy the new materials, open up your log, and then I already went through and I bought some from the different suppliers, and now I can make all these different things. So, ash spinning wheel, no problem. Just pull it out, do basic synthesis. You don't even have to do the high quality synthesis. You get bonus experience. Ooh, I had an excellent there. Okay, that's, that's fine. <laughs> I didn't see the excellent crack. I would have maybe gone for it, but uh, yeah, so you see, I made the, the basic one and the no quality, and so you get the bonus experience every time you make it, even if it's no quality. So I'll make this uh, amateur fishing rod. Go ahead and synthesize that up real quick. And I'm just doing this to prove the point. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just doing this to prove the point that <laughs> you can uh, you can make these base level items and still get a lot of experience for it. So that's all I wanted to demonstrate right there. Um, oh yeah, I can't leave that way. But now I wanted to show you guys one more thing, and that is um, to get a little bit more bonus experience, you can use the uh, company issued engineering manual. And so that's basically an XP boost for uh, like for crafting, for any kind of crafting class. So the, the uh, carpenter is a crafting class, so you can use it. So this basically, let's see, I'll read it. Grants temporary 150% boost to experience points earned from synthesis up to a maximum of 500,000 points. Well, you can see I only have 19,600 points there. So like, and this is effect is halved at level 40 and above, but like, who cares? We're level 12. Like, let's get some pretty good experience, you know? So yeah, I highly recommend you get those and I'll show you where you can get them right now. I'm just gonna teleport, you know what? Actually, I'll run over here. I'll save the, like, whatever, however little gill it is and just, Run straight over to this Ethernet. Ethernet shard. Ethernet. That's a funny word to say. Ethernet. And yeah, so I'm going to roll around over here. And I'm going to head on over to my uh, grant company. So now, basically, if you don't know this, you can, um, at a certain point after the main story quest, you gain access to a grant company. And you basically like pick one and like spoiler alert. But I mean, I think most people know that. So you can run right over here and go to. The, where are we? Serpent Personnel Officer. Serpent Personnel Officer. And you can, oh well you can undertake supply and provisioning missions which are awesome. But um, actually I want to talk to the Serpent Quartermaster right now. Because he's the one that sells the uh, engineering manual. So you go to material, and here it is. Company issue engineering manual. And you can pick one up for 1440 seals. And the seals are super easy to get. The seals are ridiculously easy. Like I play white mage. So basically if I go ahead and I switch classes here real quick, I'll quit my white mage. And so basically since I play healer, 
uh, healers are like pretty in demand for uh, duty roulettes. So I think most people have heard of duty roulette, so you can just go ahead and where are we going here? Uh, duty, duty finder, there we are. And they do, a look, see adventure and need healer. So I'm always, the healer's like in demand pretty often, and so it's a tank. So basically if you just help out with one of these random leveling roulettes, you get 1974 serpent seals, and you get 394 on top of that. And they're like super easy. They're not, they're, most of them are not hard at all. So it's, it's really worthwhile because you can just do one or two of those, get your engineering manual, and just start beefing up the class that you want to work on. So it, it's a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy that, that aspect of it. I highly recommend everybody gets the uh, engineering manual. And so I'll go ahead and go right back to Carpenter here. And so I'll use the engineering manual. Use that. You can see, you'll know it's active because you can see the little uh, icon right here, Crafter's Grace. So increases experience points gains as a disciple of the hand, which is great. So now if I make something, let me just make a feathered harpoon. Sure. I'll make that. I'll keep my eye on it this time though, in case it goes excellent. So I will attempt a touch. Normal, normal. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got a level up right there. So yeah, that was fun actually. Okay, we got a new skill. So basically as you level up you get these uh, different skills and uh, they're pretty uh, similar to like across all crafting classes. Like it's kind of overwhelming at first because you have all these different uh, actions but they're, it's like the same kind of game along crafting classes where they're all be uh, the same kind of skill so it's like it's like a game and once you learn it you can do it across all the different crafting classes which is really good to know because if you master one you can master them all basically which is really nice so yeah that's we got a level up there and i'll just maybe i'll make like one more thing i'll make this and so that's a good proof of concept and oh excellent so now i got the excellent proc maybe i'll go ahead and go for a, a touch here yeah, and that got us uh, 208. So you get, basically get a uh, boost to quality depending on the condition. So might as well go for, you know, 7% isn't great, but you know, it's better than nothing. And basically the last, there's two more things you can do uh, to level up. And I'll, I'll show you this one right here. And that is you can do, undertake a uh, supply and provisioning quests or missions. So you, you click on this. And so for supply, Oh, an ash spinning wheel. Oh, great. I just actually made one of those. So you'll accidentally make stuff and then I can just turn this in. So I go ahead, hand over, deliver, got seals and got level. So like, that's ridiculously fast. So you just deliver one item to a certain personnel officer and you level up just like that. I mean, I got level like that, but I mean, you know, obviously, and they, uh, they scale to your level. So they're really good to do because no matter what level you are, you'll always get a ton. And I'll show you that here. So like, click on him again, undertake supply and provisioning missions. And here I have a Rami robe of healing, which is like where my weaver's at. And that gives me like so like 3 million experience. That's a lot actually, I'm probably gonna do that. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, so like it always scales up. So you can do that like once a day and it's another great way to level up. And now, um, just for the last method, I want to show you really quickly. We'll go ahead and roll back over here. And I want, oh, actually, no, we're going to the guild. And the last thing you can do is undertake uh, his, uh, this boy's missions here, Beaten. Mr. Beaten. That's an interesting name. I was thinking about that uh, a lot earlier. But let me see if I can, I'll go ahead and try to beef up my level here. Through the power of editing, I will beef up my level to level 15, and I'll be right back. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we're back here. I'm level 15 now through the magic of editing. And now we're talking to Beaton. Timber Master Beaton needs a carpenter to assist one of his newest apprentices. Let's do it. Special view. Blah blah blah. So I accept the quest to see. So basically these quests are kind of like story quests, and they will 
um, help progress your skill, they give you experience level up, and usually it involves making something and then turning it into uh, the guild master. So let's see what's going on here. Please, you must help me. You can make ash short bows and feathered harpoons, can't you? Of course I can. You see, I want to forgot that I had agreed to craft two weapons for the archers and lancers guilds for delivery no later than, well, today. Today I'm also obligated to order 100 lengths of oak lumber. Timurester Beaton is a veritable horror or terror when his wrath is on him. Alright. Okay, I think we can do this. So, talk to that boy. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> so I already made the harpoon. Ash shortbow. Let's see what this means. Uh, oh, here it is. Ash shortbow. Oh, I need ash lumber. Let's see. Can I buy it from you? No, I have to go. Oh, yeah, ash logs. Here, I'll just do this. Alright, ash logs. Bam. Got it. So this gives you kind of an idea of what these quests are. So I need to make ash lumber. And to look at how to craft an item, this is super easy. You just right click on the item. Search for item by crafting method. Ash logs. There they are. You know what? Let's do... Oh, I sold something. Oh, that's exciting. Uh, that's some more money. <laughs> well, let's see. Alright, so we're going to make these ash lumber. So I'll go ahead. Let's see how many touch it. Or how much I'll take this and possess one. Yeah, one. So yeah, I could have touched it a little bit there. But uh, yeah, we made the uh, ash lumber. So now we are going to go back and we are going to make the bow. And it is an, an ash short bow. You can see your objectives right here. Ash short bow. Synthesize. And I'm just going to go for regular quality because well, it doesn't... Oops. <laughs> I hit the wrong key there. <laughs> no, we're going to try and uh, go ahead and progress this to finish. So we did a couple touches. One more. Good condition. Could have gone for it. That's fine. You know, these items are such a low level, I just like have a hard time caring about their quality. So I'm going to roll back over here. Oh, let's see. Oh, no. We're going to go to... Oh, we have to actually deliver it to the people. Okay. Where are they? Okay. Okay, they're in Old Grenadia. Alright, well, through the power of editing, I will deliver these items, and I will come right back. Alrighty, ladies and gents. I just completed the second delivery. Uh, so yeah, this mission's a little bit different. It has you bring the items to two people. That's fine. Heading back to the plaza now. We're going to go talk to Beaton. Hopefully this is the last thing he has us do. Because I want to show you guys what kind of experience you can get from this. So, roll on over there. Head on to the guild. And let's see what he has for us. There he is. Beaten, beaten, beaten. Okay. Let's see. Alright, little little story here. How kind of you to assist? Blah, blah, blah. Just lead me. Need to save. It's necessary to punch them off. Oh, the test of character. Okay, that's kind of a twist. Yeah. Very nice. Try to see if you're a good person. A lot of story here. I already kind of, so I'm just going to fly through this. Alright, so you see we got 30,000 experience. That's pretty good. And we get, you get gear too. And we got a new uh, offhand tool, which is fantastic. So I'll pick... Uh, you can pick an item too here, let's see. Got yeah, like this. And quest complete. Nailed it. Perfect. And now, yeah, we get 30,000 experience. We're level 16. And just like that, you know what? We can upgrade our equipment. We can equip the new claw hammer. We can, you know, you can upgrade your armor. You should be wearing all crafting armor, unlike me. And yeah, so that's about it. I wanted to show you guys. We got level 16. It's pretty quick. If you do the quest, you can get these quests every five levels. And the last method of leveling up is levy quests, but I'll be making a separate video about that in the future. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. There's a sassy pose for you. Stay beautiful, people. I'll see you uh, tomorrow.